Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's our next equation. 4 times the quantity x plus 8 to the negative first minus 1 is equal to 5 times x plus 8 to the negative 1 quantity. Okay, here's the deal. What you need to remember on this problem, okay? Very important. Remember the rule, you shall never allow negative exponents in a problem. Okay, so what it means with the x plus 8 to the negative first is that actually that entire quantity goes in the denominator. So the 4 stays in the top, x plus 8 is in the denominator. Minus 1, there's not much we can do there. And then here the same thing happens. The 5 stays in the numerator. And where would the x plus 8 go? Because it's raised to the negative first power, it would go to the denominator. So our first step in this equation involves getting rid of the negative exponent. Now the next step is very important. x plus 8 is in this denominator, and x plus 8 is in this denominator. If you recall back from Math 1033, we talked about something in that class called restricted values. And a restricted value was something that you didn't want to use because it would make a denominator become zero. Well, hopefully you agree. Look here where I'm pointing. If I put the number negative 8 in for x, negative 8 plus 8 would become zero, and that's not allowed. A denominator can't become zero. Likewise, negative 8 cannot be used here either. So what I do is I go off to the side of this problem, and I state what I call restricted values. Not recreational vehicles, people. Restricted values. X cannot equal negative 8. And you state restricted values any time you're solving an equation, and there are variables in the denominator. Okay? Very important. Now, our next step is this. Hang on a minute, I'm reaching for a different pen. All right, here we go. Okay, I do not want to deal with fractions, and I hope you agree there are three terms here. I want to multiply each term through by x plus 8, because that, okay, bam, 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 Multiplying through by x plus 8, watch what it's going to do. Here, it's going to make the x plus 8's cancel, just leaving me with 4. That's much prettier. Here, when I multiply negative 1 by x plus 8, negative 1 times x is the opposite of x. Negative 1 times 8 is a negative 8. And on this side, look how beautifully the x plus 8's cancel, leaving me with a 5. People, look what we've done. We have made this so much simpler now. So look what happens when I collect like terms. I have the opposite of x, and then of course, let's see, 4 minus 8 is a negative 4, and that will be equal to 5. Okay, to get the x by itself, I'm going to add 4 to both sides leaving me with the opposite of x is equal to, what would that be if I had 4 over here? I would get a 9. And now to finish, remember this negative is an implied negative 1. When I divide by negative 1, I get the answer x equals negative 9. And the reason that that answer is acceptable, in other words, I can keep it, I know that's the right answer, is because it's not my restricted value. If this answer had turned out to be my restricted value, I would have had to throw out this answer, and my answer to the problem would have been the empty set. Okay? So what did we do here? We got rid of negative exponents. That was step one. Step two is we stated our restricted values. Step three is we multiplied through by the LCD. And step four, we solved the equation. And step five, we made sure the answer was not the restricted value. And we're done.